Bruh, I swear to God, like, if hell feels anything like Louisiana heat, I'm going to get right with the Lord right now, today, I'm getting saved. It's so, it's so hot out here. It's so fucking hot out here. The air just blowing my baby all around. Oh, Jesus. Jesus be for you Greetings everyone Welcome back to my channel It's me Dominique LaRue And I'm back with another video for y'all If you are new make sure that you Press subscribe so that you can Get in the loop and be a part of the family And if you are returning welcome back I love you thank you for being here So today I'm doing something a little different I'm about to do a mukbang I'm going to go to McDonald's Well we going to go to McDonald's and I'm going to get the sweetie meal and we're going to eat and we're going to talk about some things. I got a couple things I want to talk to y'all about. So keep on watching. So I just put up to McDonald's and oh, oh baby, this speaker broke. Well, this screen broke. But I just put up to McDonald's. I already know what the sweetie meal is. So it's a Big Mac, a four piece nugget and some fries. Uh, basically a Big Mac combo with a four piece nugget on the side and you're supposed to put the nuggets on top of the fries with the sauce. So I worked at McDonald's for three years so I already know like how this is going to taste and stuff like that. But uh, yeah we about to see the Saweetie meal. We about to Saweetie. Wait we about to the Saweetie meal. We about to Saweetie. <laughs> we, we, got, we about to see, but we about to so we no okay. Leave that alone. I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna stop trying to make fetch happen. But go ahead and give me a so we meal with a so we tea. <laughs> you get it? That one, see that one hit. That one was a hit. Y'all heard that thunder? It's always about to rain. Like, let me show you how it looks. Like. Yes, um, can I get the sweetie meal, but instead of a Sprite, can I get a large sweet tea with light ice? And what's your sauce? Um, the sweetie, the sweetie sauce and barbecue sauce. Anything else? That's it. 10.76. Okay. This meal, $10, okay? $10. Y'all don't laugh at my team. It's a little bit right there. Anyway, while I'm waiting, uh, let's get into uh, what I want to talk about. So, OnlyFans recently put out a statement that they were going to be moving away from pornographic content creators and, um, you know, to make way for more mainstream content or whatever the fuck um, they call themselves doing. Personally, I think that that is a bunch of bullshit because, as many of you already know, I am an OnlyFans creator, um, along with being a professional dominatrix. So, sex work to me is important not only because I'm a sex worker, but also because you know I understand what it's like and I understand the importance of sex workers on the OnlyFans platform. If it wasn't for sex workers, OnlyFans would not be as known as it is because it's been around for a while, but once the pandemic hit, of course there was, you know, a need for like the strip clubs was closed. Um so everybody had to start consuming, you know, that shit online so then it became a platform for sex workers to create and sell their content and the way it works is we keep 80 percent only fans takes 20 percent which is a it's a nice chunk but it's not too bad but it's a nice chunk um but only fans is 
like we carry the platform on our backs you know what i'm saying demon time only fans like Ooh, it's a staple in the culture because of sex workers oops it's a statement in the culture because of sex workers and the fact that they they thought that they was gonna be able to put us off the platform um it's a joke it really was a joke honestly so of course they sent the email this morning talking about oh we decided to suspend our october um our october first decision um so that we can stay inclusive i know the fuck you did because them numbers was going down them numbers was going down and y'all was mad about it but that just goes to show that y'all hate sex workers for no reason because I'm, I'm peeping. I haven't said nothing about it online because I knew I wanted to like make a video about it eventually. But you know, I've been peeping the comments that have been being made online and y'all are all like, oh, um, y'all are all like, oh yeah, what y'all gonna do now? What y'all gonna do now? Bitch, go to another motherfucking platform. That's what we gonna do, the fuck? Yeah, and can I get everything well done, please? I'm sorry, I forgot to say it. Thank you. Lord, it looks like the rain trying to come down. Yeah, I ain't in the mood for that. <laughs> yeah, everything well done. You gotta tell McDonald's well done and really i suggest that at any fast food place child because if you don't tell them people well done your food gonna be cold and old and i know better but anywho like i was saying y'all hate sex workers and i don't understand how that's possible when everybody likes sex and everybody consumes sex and pornography in some way shape or form um it is just really baffling to me how dumb and hateful y'all are for no reason like what oh what y'all gonna do now we gonna go to another platform like bitch there's fansly there's just for fans Anywho, I cannot believe it's about to start raining. Anyway, so I got the sweetie meal, and I'm gonna pull on over so that y'all can see it. Yeah. It's so ugly outside now. I think I'm gonna drive to my house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive back home. I'm gonna sit in the car so that way I won't have to drive in this rain. Be right back. So, anywho, it's definitely raining. Like, one thing about South Louisiana, like, it do rain every day this summer. It's so aggravating. Like, summer 2019. Ooh! Summer 2019, I was pregnant. Last summer, we was in a Panamera. And then this summer, it rained every fucking day. Like, I'm ready to go outside. But, anyway. Back to the sweetie meal. You know, all the bags right now. Got her little, you know, whatever, whatever on there. So it comes with a four piece chicken nugget and a big mefalea fish quarter pound of french fry. I think I love milkshake, Sundays, the apple pie. But it comes with a little big mac, <laughs> a little big mac, and the fries. So, we about to hook the meal up. Oh. And it got the soy, soy tea, and sour sauce, and barbecue sauce. So. 
Ready to hook it up. Ready to hook it up. We're going to pause the only fans conversation because we're about to hook this up. How she say, oh, fuck. How she say it's supposed to be hooked up. So, what you do, take the Big Mac box and you pull your fries. Like these, I ain't gonna pull all my fries because, like, oh, what if I, I'm always making a mess? I ain't gonna pull all the fries because what if I just wanna eat so bread? Which I do. So, you take it and you put it like that. And then you open the nuggets. And you put the nuggets on top of the fries. So you have the situation kind of like this. Like this or whatever. So. We got the Big Mac. And then. So then you take your sweetie and sour sauce. I'm open my just and leave it on the side. You take your sweetie and sour sauce. And you put it on top of the nuggets and the fries. Ooh, Ooh, and you do the same thing with the barbecue sauce. And it's regular McDonald's barbecue sauce. what you got a big mac and chicken nuggets and fries with <laughs> sweet sour and barbecue sauce on y'all so i'm trying to figure out the best way for me to eat this <laughs> and her meal come with a sprite but i got a large sweet tea because mcdonald's sweet tea the dumbest so I'm trying to, so I'm going to do a nugget and a fry together, I guess. Okay. I mean, of course it's not bad because it's chicken nuggets and fries. Messy. And I don't really like getting my hands dirty when I eat. And this a week sauce is really good. I had it before, but I really can't determine if the so we sauce is like the exact same. That's sweet and sour. Maybe some. These nuggets fresh. I'm glad about that. Okay. It's a nice little fill up, I guess, you know. I thought I'd try it, you know. I like sweetie. She cute. She be putting on for the girls. Very unproblematic. Love her. Shout out to sweetie. So I'm gonna take a bite out of this Big Mac. And then we're gonna get back into the topic at hand. I haven't ate a Big Mac in so long, like since I ate McDonald's. Like, I don't never well not since I ate McDonald's. Since I worked at McDonald's, like, I don't never go to McDonald's and order a Big Mac. <laughs> I forgot how good Mac sauce is. I'm gonna have to start putting that on shit in there. When I worked at McDonald's, <clears throat> when I worked at McDonald's, we used to put Mac sauce on all kind of shit. Hot and spices, McDoubles, everything. And I'm a sandwich spread. 
the bus door. So anywho, as I was saying about you but slubbering gutter snipes, <laughs> hating on the OnlyFans girls, like everybody consumes porn everybody likes sex but y'all hate sex workers so much like what are y'all gonna do if people just completely stop making porn if they completely stop making porn completely took it off the internet like what is your hating ass gonna do like no regardless of how you feel about it only fans and sex work period is how A lot of people pay their bills and feed their family. So who are you to celebrate and jump for joy? Because technically, that would be people losing their job and y'all like get a job. Bitch, they already have a job. OnlyFans is their job. And I'm saying they simply because when I started OnlyFans, I started OnlyFans because I, I'm a professional dominatrix and I wanted a place to consistently sell adult content. However, OnlyFans has never been my only source of income. Now, I'm not saying that to say I'm better or anything like that. That's definitely not what I'm saying. But why would I be excited about people who, like, this is a main source of income. Like, some people, I know people that make thousands of dollars a month doing OnlyFans. Like, they have created a certain lifestyle for themselves, and they're able to do so because of this platform. And I, I would be, I would hate for them to, like, literally lose their job. Like, y'all are celebrating people losing their job. Like, how do you hate that bad? But I'm here to let y'all know. The motherfucking hustle don't stop. And only fans themselves have to get with the motherfucking program and put some respect on these sex workers' names, child. Because, bitch, you want to ban adult content. Adult content is why only fans is a household name. Let's get into it. Don't be trying to short chain. I always want to short chain sex workers like sex workers out of desperation. When like the age old saying goes, sex sells. Everybody likes sex. Everybody consumes sexual content in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Whether you be on X and XX watching your porn for what you think is for free the only reason you're able to see said porn for free is because somebody got paid so just because you think it don't come out your pockets or you think that the sexual content the adult content that you consume nobody's getting paid for it they are the adult industry is a multi-billion dollar business and whether you like it or not we're here and no matter how much they try to erase us oh did y'all see me spit Ooh. no matter how much y'all try to erase us and hate on us and discriminate against us we're in this bitch. Whether you like it or not. Ain't gonna be in this bitch. So put some respect on these sex workers. On the fans, Dr. Fucking Drift, bitch. Only fans sat down and did the calculations. They sat their ass down and they did the calculations. Cause they get 20%. Of all of our earnings. Do you know how many 20% that is they gonna be missing out on? 
They had to really sit and think about all of the money they're going to be losing putting their top earners off the site. The shit don't be about nothing but money. And like it's still bullshit to me because I don't feel like they care about sex workers. I think that they recognize the loss that they was going to take. It wasn't because, you know, it wasn't to advocate for the adult content creators. They realized how much money they was going to fucking lose. <clears throat> Trying to discriminate against us. I personally am tired. I personally am tired of being discriminated against across these platforms. I done lost my Instagram page. Um, we barely can promote OnlyFans on social media as it is. It automatically gets blocked. So, it's hard out here. It's hard out here for the girls and the guys trying to get this money for the rent. When society is working against you for no fucking reason, I don't get it. Everybody likes sex. I don't know no person that don't like sex. And I don't know no person that doesn't or has not watched porn. Like, whether it just be for educational purposes whether it's just for Joe's right quick or whether you're trying to get your rocks off like we grown like I'm 28 years old I don't know nobody that don't consume sex in some capacity so I'm just not understanding why we're still being shamed for it I'm just not understanding why y'all are celebrating people possibly losing their livelihoods like that's really some hating ass shit like that is really some hating ass shit I would never be like oh I don't like your job like y'all police officers Okay, I ain't gonna use the police as an example because I really don't like the police and I do be wishing that they would defund the police. And everybody lose their job and it don't be no police no more. So I ain't even gonna tell that lie up in here, girl. Defund the police, child. Mall security. I'm not gonna be like, ooh, I hope they don't never have no mall security ever because what if something pop off in mall security not needed? Like, Fuck y'all, they just be harassing my booster girls. Like, y'all don't, like, their merchandise not for you. But what if something really pop off and, like, mom security is needed? And, like, you know, he might not want to do mom security, but he got a family to feed. He got kids to feed. Like, I would never just wish that anybody, no matter what they do, is in a position to where they cannot feed their family. Like, y'all really is fucked up. That is really some hated stuff. That is really some hated stuff. Why is y'all doing that? But... It doesn't matter because I'm going to continue to get money a hundred million different ways. And I'm going to continue to do what I love to do and create content that I like to create. And sell it for what I feel is worth on platforms that I feel is worth. So I'm going to stay on OnlyFans for now. Um, and I'm definitely still going to make a fans leave. Because you can never have too many avenues and streams of income honey so i'm going to get the only fans bag and the fans lee bag okay period i'm also thinking about doing just for fans too i want all of it i want all the money because when y'all be hating like that like when people be hating like that it don't make me i don't make me want to do nothing but go get some more money because bitch now what ha <laughs> ha what you gonna do now go to another platform like, if I was working at a strip club, strip club, I work, they closed down, motherfucking owners wasn't paying their rent and shit. I'm not about to just be like, oh, what am, oh, what was me? What am I going to do? I'm never going to be able to dance again. Bitch, please, I'm going to be on the next pole, whether it's the next town over. I'm doing whatever I got to do and wherever I got to go. Because the money don't stop, baby. Life don't stop. And no OnlyFans. Cool. We can go back We can go back to the old to the old days and do the premium Snapchat. I have y'all paying $25 a month for a Snapchat. We can go back there. I don't ever want nobody to think that I'm not going to get my money or think that just because this platform shuts down that I'm not going to get my money or that people do not deserve to be able to go elsewhere and get their money. This is a sex worker stand account and we are all inclusive over here, honey. So, I think I'm full. Whew, I'm definitely full. 
I'm gonna go in the house. Oh shit. I'm gonna go my ass in the house. Let me know what you guys think about OnlyFans potentially. Potentially. No. Potentially. <laughs> I shouldn't have struggled that much with it. But let me know what y'all think about OnlyFans potentially banning adult content and everybody hates sex workers. That hate me too real for me, child, but whatever. <clears throat> Thank y'all for joining me. Again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also check out my last video. Find me on social media at Dominique LaRue. Find my podcast with my best friend at Good Dope Sales itself. And follow my makeup page at LaRue Makeup Artistry. And also, while you are at it, follow my um, Dominatrix Instagram, which is GoddessXCleo underscore. Thank you again. <clears throat> I love y'all. Bye.